In tonight with the early results in the special election for District 4 supervisor. Yeah, the vote's still being counted, but one candidate has jumped out to an early lead in the race to uh, replace former county supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Fox 5's Alani Latang starts us off live outside the county administration center with a closer look at the numbers and where things stand. Hi, Alani. Hi, Andrew. Kathleen, and that front runner is San Diego County President Pro Tem Monica Montgomery Stepp. She leads right now with 41% of the votes. That's still not enough to win. And that number is just from the ballots that have been counted from the early voting centers up until people voted yesterday, as well as the mail in ballots that came in before yesterday's election day. The county is still counting the mail in ballots that were dropped off just yesterday. It's a labor intensive process. They have to certify the signature before they're able to open up that ballot to be counted. But some of the issues that we're hearing from both candidates and from voters who want to see change is around homelessness. And we spoke with San Diego Path on their expectations they have for the next supervisor that comes in. Housing is the key to solving homelessness, and we just need a direct, concerted effort to try to address that and make sure that we get people off the street as quickly as humanly possible. Zach Schlegel with San Diego nonprofit PATH says they want the next county district four supervisor to support PATH's work with homelessness from prevention to permanent housing. The county supervisors have a lot of influence. They, you know, are direct with the public health dollars. A new supervisor hangs in the balance. San Diego Diego City Council President Pro Tem Monica Montgomery Step leads with 41% of the votes. Activist Amy Reichert has 29%. Former Marine Captain Janessa Goldbeck has 25%. And former Gunnery Sergeant Paul McQuig has 5% of votes. Each one has said homelessness, housing, plus public safety are their priorities. It's a great trend, and I just hope that that will pass along to all the residents within the districts. I know sometimes there's uh, you know, some frustration about new projects that come into a community, and I think it's just really important that we be accepting and we want to see people off the street and into housing. Schlegel says PATH served more than 6,000 people in 2022. With a new supervisor on the horizon, Schlegel pleads for more coordination between county and community. Yeah, we need the supervisor to just open up the uh, floodgates of funding to uh, ensure that we have more housing options. Uh, and we also, when it comes to shelter, we need to have shelter across the whole county and not just in the city of San Diego. We still have a long ways to go. There's clearly a lot of people that are on the streets right now. In order for a candidate to win, they need 50% of the votes plus one vote. If there is no majority candidate, then the top two candidates will go to a runoff election in November. Now we're told that the county office, the county registrar's office, has until September 15th to certify all the votes. The office told us they should have the votes certified before then, and we should be getting an update on how many ballots are counted and, again, the number to where each candidate stands by tomorrow. But for now, reporting live outside of the county administration, building. I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.